Hello and welcome to the People's Students Check and Students Package Update as of November 7th, 2020. Today is going to be a bit of a different Students Package Update compared to my usual ones where I actually have notes of the information I've gathered. Today we're going to talk about politics. Very fun politics, I hope. I hope they actually pan out for all of us Americans that actually need it. As you've known, uh, current President Donald Trump has been debunked and basically he is no longer our president. Well, will no longer be our president as of January 20th, 2021, when the federal government will go inside the White House and basically remove all trespassers, including Donald Trump himself. So basically this is just saying that Joe Biden and Camila Harris has actually won the presidential electoral ballots. So go Harris and Biden. Uh, Camila Harris is actually the first woman to ever be vice president. So more power to her. I'm happy for that. As far as our Senate goes, our Senate is still run by Republicans. Basically, Mitch McConnell, the guy who does not want to help out the people because he'd rather help out his own pocketbook by letting his wife take money from the Paytech Protection Plan. As I've discussed in earlier episodes, is what she's done. He has not yet been tried as a uh, as a thief, but let's hope he does. And here's a bad shout out for a state that actually put him back in power. Shame on you, Kentucky. You voted for a thief to be the Senate representative lead of the Republicans. Oh, wait, that's right. All Republicans are thieves anyways. I mean, if you think about it here, I mean, so is Kanye West. Because I also did a thing out about him as well for an earlier episode about how besides uh, Mr. Connell's wife and a few other congressmen were sending money from the Paytech pay Protection Plan that so did Kanye West. But I will say this, though. Kanye West got 4,000-plus votes on the ballot when, in fact, he should have not gotten any votes on the ballot because why would you want to vote a prey thief back to be and have, have any type of power? The information is also going across my uh, thing about Kanye West as well, about how before he got married to his current wife, uh, Kim Kardashian, how he was supposed to be $60 million in debt, and now he has it all paid off thanks to good old Donald Trump and his wife supposedly making an app for him on the phones so he can pay off all this debt. Wow, isn't that nice? And yet, it's not that nice because Donald Trump's $400 million in debt, and his debt collectors say that once he gets done in the presidency, they're going to come to collect. And when that happens, Donald Trump, I suspect, is going to try to leave the United States so his debt collectors cannot follow him. The only problem is he's going to leave behind his moronic daughter, Ivanka Trump, that I did talk about in an episode, talk about how she tried to say how the whole um, COVID-19 thing was all solved, and she's supposed to be, and I said, my comments were in, in the, the great renowned scientist, Ivanka Trump, which is not a scientist. Then also, what about his uh, his felon son? Um, what is his name? Donald Trump Jr. He said he's going to try to run for presidency, but unfortunately, I don't think no one's going to vote for him either because they've already seen how bad Trump has been to our economy and to our people. So I do not believe that they're going to vote for Donald Trump Jr. into office. And then there's also Melania Trump, which. Some sources say that she's afraid to leave Donald Trump and the fact that he actually might try to take their children from her. Other sources say that uh, he don't give a rat's ass about the children or Melania Trump, and he only married a hooker. Yes, I'm going to say he married a hooker because what woman in her right mind would want to be with a loser like Donald Trump? And why I come a loser is because of, if you look up all of his business attempts that he has done has failed. I mean, I'm surprised the people that he owes $400 million to hasn't decided to take away Trump powers and call it something else. Or take away his personal airline and call it. That's what I'm waiting for. Seeing Donald Trump flying coach 
on a regular airplane. That would be epic. That would go so viral that you would be so hilarious. I think it'd be great to see Donald Trump flying coach on an airplane, being humiliated for being the failure he is. But that these are all just also my suppositions and my takes on what's going on. But as far as my background goes, what you're seeing is you're seeing part of my life. Like I said, when I was uh, basically homeless in 2017 with my fiance in Cedar City, which is 400 miles away from where I am. And these are supposedly supposed to be tribute to the Paiute Indians in Cedar City, where supposedly the BLM, and I don't mean the Black Lives Matter, I mean the Bureau of Land Management, gave them a plot of land and now it's shrinking down to almost nothing. If you was caught in an earlier episode I did, you saw me doing the FEMA camp. And then if you, I think it was yesterday's episode, you saw me doing the uh, Cedar City Mountains behind me. And basically, I'm just doing this so you guys don't see my uh, current background, which is basically the rafters above my head and the cement wall behind my back because of you guys getting bored of it. So I'm going to start interjecting parts of my life into my videos so I can give my viewers more insight into who I am. So until next time, you guys please stay safe out there. If you can, put something in your stomach so we can all survive. And remember to wear a mask and stay safe. And remember, we're, we're all in this together because that's all we got. Our Senate isn't going to help us out because they're Republican and they don't care. So until next time, be safe. Stay food in your stomach. Wear a mask. And remember, always, that as Americans, we are strong as United Front. Where is divided with you? Until next time, we want to leave you.